code of a Comics Magazine Association of America, Incorporated. Adopted October 26, 1954. Preamble. The comic book medium, having come of age of the American culture scene, must measure up to its responsibilities. Constantly improving techniques and higher standards go hand in hand with these responsibilities. To make a positive contribution to contemporary life, the industry must seek new areas for developing sound, wholesome entertainment. The people responsible for writing, drawing, printing, publishing, and selling comic books have done a commendable job in the past and have been striving towards this goal. Their record of progress and continuing improvement compares fav favorably with other media in the communications industry. An outstanding example is the development of comic books as a unique and effective tool for instruction and education. Comic books have also made their contribution in the field of letters and criticism of contemporary life. In keeping with the American tradition, the members of this industry will and must continue to work together in the future. In the same tradition, members of the industry must see to it that gains made in this medium are not lost and that violations of standards of good taste, which might tend towards corruption of the comic book as an instructive and wholesome form of entertainment will be eliminated. Therefore, the Comics Magazine Association of America Incorporated has adopted this code and placed strong powers of enforcement in the hands of an independent code authority. Further, members of the association have endorsed the purpose and spirit of this code as a vital instrument to the growth of the industry. That this positive and forthright statement will provide an effective bulwark for the pro protection and enhancement of the American reading public, and that it will become a landmark in the history of self-regulation for the entire communications industry. Code for Editorial Matters, General Standards, Part 1. Number 1. Crime shall never be presented in such a way as to create sympathy for the criminal, to promote distrust of the forces of law and justice, or to inspire others with a desire to imitate criminals. 2. No comics shall explicitly present the unique details and methods of a crime. 3. Policemen, judges, government official, officials, and respected institutions shall never be presented in such a way as to create disrespect for established authority. 4. If crime is depicted, it shall be as a sordid and unpleasant activity. 5. Criminals shall not be presented so as to be rendered glamorous or to occupy a position which creates a desire for emulation. 6. In every instance, good shall triumph over evil and the criminal punished for his misdeeds. 7. Scenes of excessive violence shall be prohibited. Scenes of brutal torture, excessive and unnecessary knife and gunplay, physical agony, gory and gruesome crime shall be eliminated. 8. No unique or unusual methods of concealing weapons shall be shown. 9. Instances of law enforcement officers dying as a result of a criminal's activities shall be discouraged. 10. The crime of kidnapping shall never be portrayed in any detail, nor shall any profit accrue to the abductor or kidnapper. The criminal or the kidnapper must be punished in every case. 11. The letters of the word crime on a comics magazine shall never be appreciably greater in dimensions than the words contained in the title. The word crime shall never appear alone on a cover. 12. Restraint in the use of the word crime in titles or subtitles shall be exercised. General Standards, Part 2. Number 1. No comics magazine shall use the word horror or terror in its title. 2. All scenes of horror, excessive bloodshed, 
gory or gruesome crimes, depravity, lust, sadism, misogynism shall not be permitted. 3. All lurid, unsavory, gruesome illustrations shall be eliminated. 4. Inclusion of stories dealing with evil shall be used or shall be published only where the intent is to illustrate a moral issue and in no case shall evil be presented alluringly nor so to injure the sensibilities of the reader five scenes dealing with or instruments associated with walking dead torture vampires and vampirism ghouls cannibalism and werewolfism are prohibited general standards part c all elements or techniques not specifically mentioned herein but which are contrary to the spirit and intent of the code and are considered violations of good taste or decency shall be prohibited dialogue number one profanity obscenity smut vulgarity or words or symbols which acquired undesirable meaning are forbidden two special precautions to avoid references to physical affliction or deformalities shall be taken three although slang and colloquialisms are acceptable excessive use should be discouraged and wherever possible good grammar shall be employed religion number one ridicule or attack on any religion or racial group is never permissible costume number one nudity in any form is prohibited as is indecent or undue exposure two suggestive and salacious illustrations or suggestive posture is unacceptable three all characters shall be depicted in dress reasonably acceptable to society four females shall be drawn realistically without exaggeration of any physical qualities note it should be recognized that all prohibitions dealing with costume dialogue or artwork apply as specifically to the cover of a comic magazine as they do to the contents marriage and sex one divorce shall not be treated humorously nor represented as desirable two illicit sex relationships are neither to be hinted at nor portrayed violent love scenes as well as sexual abnormalities are unacceptable three respect for parents the moral code and for honorable behavior shall be fostered a sympathetic understanding of the problems of love is not a license for morbid distortion four the treatment of live romance stories shall emphasize the value of the home and the sanctity of marriage five passion or romantic interest shall never be treated in such a way as to stimulate the lower and baser emotions six seduction and rape shall never be shown or suggested seven sex perversion or any inference the same is strictly forbidden code for advertising matter these regulations are acceptable to all magazines published by members of the comics magazine association of america incorporated good taste shall be the guiding principle in an accept acceptance of advertising one liquor and tobacco advertising is not acceptable two advertisement of sex or sex instruction books are unacceptable three the sale of picture postcards pinups art studies or any other reproduction of nude or semi-nude figures is prohibited four advertising for the sale of knives or realistic gun facsimiles is prohibited five advertising for the sale of fireworks is prohibited 
six. Advertising dealing with the sale of gambling equipment or printed matter dealing with gambling shall not be accepted. Seven, nudity with meretricious purpose and salacious postures shall not be permitted in the advertising of any product. Clothed figures shall never be presented in such a way as to be offensive or contrary to good taste or morals. Eight, to the best of his abilities, each publisher shall ascertain that all statements made in advertisements conform to fact and avoid misrepresentation. Nine, advertisement of medical health or toiletry products of questionable nature are to be rejected. Advertisements for medical health or toiletry products endorsed by the American Medical Association or the American Dental Association shall be deemed acceptable if they conform with all other conditions of the advertising code. 